Hey guys, this is Gratitude Education here with a little bit of a business tip for you. As a salon owner, my goal is to make sure that every stylist that works for me is talking about things that are gonna inspire your guests to come back quick. Um, we're gonna talk about a little thing called frequency of visit. Frequency of visit is something you can find probably on your computer software. My favorite computer software is Millennium Harm Software. Um, basically, what we're gonna do with that is look at the number of how many visits per year your guest is coming in. The industry average is four times per year. So what can that do for you as a stylist or salon owner, raising that number? If you look at, um, the first thing is your average client. So if the average client returns every 12 weeks, so that would be four times a year, um, that's a $50 guest, let's say $50 average ticket, four times a year is $200. So very simple math. If we just take that same guest, we get them to come back every four to five weeks, so that's our goal, four to five weeks, and we look at the single color, same $50 client, so we haven't upgraded them to anything. Um, they now come in 12 times a year, they're now a $600 client. So you're taking and tripling your guests right there. Um, that's the power of the frequency of visit. Then we look at how do we get them to make sure that they're coming back soon. We need things that are gonna help pre-book the guests. So at Gratitude, what we do is we have a loyalty card. The loyalty card is something that we take, uh, we give our guests a card before they leave, we write a date on it, and as long as they come back by that date, they get 10% off. So we can pick a date in the future, so let's say they get a haircut, we get them to come back within four to five weeks to get that haircut again. If they use the card, they get 10% off. So little things like that, you can twist around, make them your own, and get your guests to come back in quicker. Now, average ticket. Average ticket is very simple to figure out. You basically take your total services for the day and you divide them by the number of guests. So let's say we have that $50 client that we were just talking about. She's coming in now 12 visits a year, so she's a $600 client. Um, the biggest thing that we can do is to really be a successful stylist is to make sure that you upgrade um, that guest. So let's say it's a treatment in your shampoo bowl or some kind of upgrade to color or just anything you can think of, little tiny upgrades that are gonna benefit your guests. Cause that's really the goal is making their hair better and making them, uh, developing a relationship with that guest so that they come back quicker. The simple upgrade, now we have a guest, single color, their average ticket is now $85, 12 visits a year. Now they're a $1,020 guest. So you went from a $600 guest to now $1,020. And that's just one guest in the salon. So think about if you take your whole book and you do these little tiny upgrades, the things that you never wanna do as a stylist because you're so busy and you actually make the upgrades one guest at a time, you're gonna see a big difference in your paycheck. So let's break down what we've gone over so far. The industry average single color is $50. If they're only coming in four times a year for that um, and you have 250 guests, you're bringing in $50,000 a year. That's what you're bringing into the salon, that's not what you're making. So if you wanna do what successful stylists are doing, you look at your single color, you get a haircut in there, you upgrade them to a simple wash house upgrade, now your average ticket is $110, great average ticket, 250 guests, you get them to come in 12 times a year, now you're bringing in $330,000. That's the stylist that I would wanna be, and what I do with my staff is to inspire them to watch these numbers on a daily basis. So we look at the frequency of visit, we look at the rebooking, we look at how many services they're doing per guest, and we look at the average ticket. So the cool thing that we're doing at Gratitude Salon and Education is we do a weekly contest. The weekly contest is simple. It's good for everyone at every level so that they can all compete friendly competition together. So we look at their service per guest number, their take home per guest number, and their rebooking percentage. The best part about this is whether you're a stylist that's been doing hair for one year or 20 years, you can compete against each other in a, in a great way. So let's say it's a per guest contest. So it's not this stylist brings in $2,000 more a week than this stylist. It's how many services are you doing per guest? How much take home are you selling per guest or retail? And how well are you rebooking your guests? Those are the numbers that are gonna show you the future. So what I wanna do is not just tell you from my mouth, I want you to hear it from the team that I work with on a daily basis. So we're gonna let them kind of share their stories and success that they've had with this. I have really benefited from tracking these numbers because 
Retail was always something that I was just naturally good at. It was something that made me a whole bunch more money, but it wasn't until I had these other numbers brought to my attention that I really started to grow and I really started to watch you know, my paychecks get bigger. And I think one of the biggest ones for me was the rebooking because it made sure that I not only was making money that day, but I was helping to build insurance that I was gonna get a paycheck four weeks from now, which I love because now I don't have to worry quite so much and it's just gotten better. And I know that my future is just gonna get better because I'm helping to build it today. I always like to make sure that my take home numbers are nice and high because when my take home numbers are high, that means that my guests have plenty of product at home to make sure that their hair is looking good. So they're walking a walking billboard for me. It's also going to allow them to remember me every single time that they use that product. So it's almost as if they're getting a flash of my business card every time they style their hair. What I love about tracking our service per guest number is it allows us to refocus on the guest in our chair and being able to share with them every experience that our salon has to offer. Being able to upgrade them to a conditioning treatment when their hair is feeling dry really adds loyalty to your client they want to see. So for me personally as a stylist, the numbers really help me because I can look at them daily, I can look at them monthly, I can look at them weekly to set my goals as a stylist for that next quarter so that I can reach the levels that I want to be at. So there you have it, hearing it from the best team I have ever worked with, the Gratitude Education team. They're working every day to become more and more successful. That's why we're here to share with you guys some of our ideas, tricks, and you know, one of the, my favorite sayings is make your own luck. And it comes from a guy, skateboarder, Rob Deerdick. The thing I like about that is that's really what this industry is all about, is creating your luck. Don't wait for it to come to you. Um, good luck, hope these ideas help you out. And please follow us on Gratitude Education, follow us on Facebook, Gratitude Salon Education, and we will Hopefully meet again soon, come up with more business ideas together and uh, enjoy these tips.